Tonight, questions still linger after the state Supreme Court ruled against Governor Whitmer and her use of emergency orders during this pandemic. Our Aaron Parsegian is live in the newsroom tonight with a breakdown of where it stands now. And Aaron, there is still some debate as to exactly when that ruling will take effect. Yeah, Derek Janice, the governor's office says it will be over two weeks before it does, but that's facing blowback from the other side of the aisle who believes the Supreme Court's decision goes into law right away. We do know in the meantime, anyone who violates those old orders, at least at the state level, won't face any charges. Governor Gretchen Whitmer appeared on CNN Sunday morning, voicing her concerns after the Michigan Supreme Court ruled against her emergency powers. This threat is still very real, and the sad irony is that on the day that the president was admitted to the hospital with a very virus he called a hoax, uh, the Supreme Court in Michigan undermined my emergency rule. On Friday, the governor said the ruling does not go into effect for 21 days, and in a statement released on Sunday, her office said it raises several legal questions questions they are still reviewing, though many others, mostly on the right, don't see it that way. Judge Aaron Gothier of the 53rd Circuit Court in Northern Michigan posted on Facebook to say the governor's claim is incorrect, emphasizing the use of the word now in this text from the ruling. Quote, the executive orders issued by the governor in response to the COVID-19 pandemic now lack any basis under Michigan law. End quote. Fox 17 reached out to the Michigan Supreme Court for clarification about the governor's claims. The public information officer told us that question is subject to legal interpretation. There is not a definitive answer or case they could cite for us. Regardless, those found violating terms of those orders will no longer be subject to criminal prosecution. Attorney General Dana Nessel making that announcement on Sunday while adding she encourages people to continue following the measures the governor put in place. And that, quote, her decision is not binding on other law enforcement agencies or state departments with independent enforcement authority, end quote. That could include health departments, and some counties have already begun to patch up holes left by the court's ruling. Oakland County has already implemented a mask mandate, and Ingham County passed four emergency orders on Sunday, mirroring the orders the governor most recently put in place. Meanwhile, the governor is vowing to use every tool at her disposal, adding that many of the measures she put in place to control the spread of COVID will continue under alternative sources of authority. So we've saved thousands of lives, and the Supreme Court, on a slim majority Republican vote, undermined that effort. And so I, I remain very concerned. Now, also in that statement from the governor's office this afternoon, they say she's ready to work across the aisle in the legislature to find common ground. Republican Speaker of the House Lee Chaffield says he's eager to partner with the administration to chart the state's path forward. In the newsroom, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News. Aaron, thank you. And the Kent County Health Department is also weighing in on this, saying they hope that lawmakers and the governor will work together to protect public health. They also went on to say that, quote, orders for isolation and quarantine are not affected by the Supreme Court's ruling. These actions are authorized under the Michigan Public Health Code, a law that was enacted back in 1978. King County Health Department will continue to use public health orders and enforcement actions as appropriate under law, as we've been doing for many decades. I also encourage people to continue wearing masks and social distancing. We have their entire statement on our website.